Well, as the helmet right behind me tells you, Dover Yoda football has been a big story in 2018. The program hadn't had a winning record since all the way back in 2008 and hadn't reached the five win mark since 2015. This year, they're having their best season yet. You can tell they're pretty excited. Uh, you know, when we watch film, when we watch the highlight videos, when we pr practice out here, just the way they kind of act in the hallways, uh, there's some excitement going on here. The Dover Yoda football program hasn't had much success in recent years, but things are different in 2018. In his fifth season as head coach, Brian Harris has led the program to its first winning season since 2008. Although a 2-7 and seven record last year, he said 2017 was a turning point for the team. We've always been competitive, and we, we worked on things even the last couple of years. Last year, we had a lot of injuries, you know, with the quarterback being out the year. Uh, that really hurt us, and uh, that kind of set us up this year because a lot of players got uh, playing time, and uh, this year, their experience. Experience really helps, and speed really helps. One of the stars on this team is senior wide receiver Jack Studer, who set the school record for receiving yardage in a season. Even with the records, Studer has a different goal in mind. It feels great, honestly, just finally winning. Um, but I just, I still want to get a playoff win and focus on the rest of the season. The Eagles have been competitive all season, holding three-time defending state champion Caledonia to its lowest point total in nearly four years. This week, they'll have another tough matchup against 6-1 and one Chatfield. They're a very good team. They're one of the best teams in the state. They're much bigger up front than we are, so we're going to have to handle their size. But like I said, I like our speed, and uh, it should be just a classic matchup of, you know, a big team versus a fast team, and uh, we'll see what happens. Dover Yoda kicks off against Chatfield on Wednesday at 7.